Okay, no. Yeah, I can't make you cut the onion. Okay, okay guys, so storm is coming. Nice Get ready. Some corned beef sandwich. I'm going to be making some corned beef sandwich just in I'll, case I'll, the I'll light gone. Good. And we need a little quick bite to eat. Mia, I'll let you do something else, okay? Onion will burn your eyes. Step aside. Okay, guys, I'm cutting up the onions. Cutting up the onion. Yes, just like tradition, guys. Just like tradition. Back then in Jamaica, when storm come, roll out the candy sandwich, yes? Rolling out the candy sandwich. And then I'm cutting up a little tip of pepper. Just a little bit, not too hot, because the kids are going to be eating too. Not going to be using this onion, it's too much. I'm going to use a little bit of sweet pepper. Some people grate the, the onion, but my kids don't like the onion, so I keep it a good size where they can see it and pick it out. Yes, if you can hear in my background, the storm already started. See, it's pouring out there, pouring, pouring, pouring. Okay, guys, I had to pause the video a bit, so I'm Finish cutting the seasoning. I'm cleaning off the board. Just getting all the extra onion. I'll just set it aside for now. And then I'm gonna open the corned beef. I'm using Excelsior today. I have grace, but I'm like, huh? Just sandwiches, tomato, tomatoes. It doesn't matter. All of them still expensive. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open the corned beef. So guys, if you don't know to open corned beef, you put in the key, you turn it the opposite way, guys. That way the key don't break off. If you do it the other way, it's going to break off. Just do it like this. Keep turning, 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 turning. I know I try to get my things out my can quickly. Because I grow with my granny and she always tell me about slow poison. I got my seasoning already in the bowl. Got my knife ready to peel out the corned beef. And there it goes. Perfect cut. And the corned beef looking good. Okay guys, now we're on to the next step. Now I have the corned beef with the seasonings. I'm going to go ahead and add a little tip of black pepper. Yep, and then have some mayonnaise. Let me see how I can one hand, one hand use this now. And you, you put in as much mayonnaise as what you prefer. All right, that's enough for me. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm using my one hand, guys. So I'm gonna pause and then show you once I'm done mixing. Now we're back. So when storm come in your last minute, you have a second with what you get. Couldn't find a regular hard dough bread, but I got yummy, yummy white bread hard dough. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And here is the finished product. This is how I do it, guys. To each his own, and it's still gonna taste good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fix the sandwiches now. So, because I'm not doing a lot, I'm going to apply the corned beef generously to the bread. I apply the corned beef 
generously. Like when you give to the church, give generously, bountifully. See, guys? I will spread it. Put on the next one. Then I got my bread knife and we're going to cut it. Give me one moment, man. Now, here's the end product, guys, of the corned beef sandwich. Nice. Let's give it a taste test. Thumbs up. No, guys. You and your family, be safe in the storm. Here's a good tip. Make some corned beef sandwich with your family. And it will do the trick. Eat it? How is it? Is it good? Yeah. It's tasty? Yeah. Nice. You could have waited for mommy to do it. I do it with how did they say? <laughs> Tell them like. Like. Comment. Like. Share. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Bye, guys.